This video will provide you with instructions on how to clean the sample chamber of the Niton Apollo handheld LIBS analyzer. Maintaining a clean instrument ensures that you will achieve optimal analytical performance. During analysis, metal particles will accumulate on the optic windows. Over time, particle accumulation will degrade signal throughput and impact the integrity of your results. Before proceeding, a variety of materials are required to perform instrument cleaning. Most materials are made available in the instrument cleaning starter kit. You will need a flathead screwdriver, argon port plugs, powderless protective gloves, opaline powder, deionized or distilled water, a pipette, a mixing spatula, a mixing tray, cotton swabs, and a nose seal replacement. It is recommended that instrument cleaning be performed at the end of the day to provide ample time for overnight drying. Residual moisture can have negative consequences impacting your analytical results. Before starting the cleaning procedure, review the included safety data sheet to understand all health and safety concerns associated with opaline powder. Proceed by removing the battery pack from the base of the analyzer. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the metal nose piece on the front of the instrument. Prevent any cleaning mixture from entering the analyzer by using the provided argon port plugs to seal the argon ports. Wear protective gloves when handling the plugs to avoid the introduction of contamination. Be sure to take special care of the plugs as they are small and easily lost. Next, an opaline cleaning mixture will need to be prepared. Using the mixing spatula, place two to three scoops of opaline powder in the mixing tray. Use the pipette to transfer deionized or distilled water. Place four to six drops of water in the mixing tray with the opaline powder. Use the mixing spatula to blend both ingredients together until they form a pasty consistency, similar to that of toothpaste. Once mixing is complete, dip the cotton swab into the opaline cleaning mixture and apply a small amount onto each of the laser windows. Pay close attention to dirt collection on the cotton swab and replace the swabs as they become dirty. Also, be sure to avoid any of the argon ports. Note that the cleaning mixture may dry in the sample chamber. If this occurs, use a clean cotton swab to clear the chamber and apply a fresh coating of cleaning mixture onto the windows. Once the swabs stop becoming dirty, the laser windows are sufficiently clean. Clear any loose or dry cleaning mixture from the sample chamber by using a dry cotton swab. Proceed by dipping a new cotton swab into a small amount of deionized or distilled water and remove any cleaning mixture from the sample chamber. Use just enough water to dampen the cotton swab. Ensure no cleaning residue remains around the argon ports and take special care to ensure water does not pool in the sample chamber. Once the remaining cleaning mixture has been removed, use a dry cotton swab to wipe the chamber and windows dry. Remove and discard the argon port plugs. If your nose seal appears damaged or frayed, continue by replacing the nose seal. Complete the cleaning procedure by using a flathead screwdriver to securely fasten the nose piece. You have now successfully performed instrument cleaning on the Niton Apollo LIBS Analyzer. For more information, visit thermofisher.com forward slash Niton Apollo.